Am I married to a narcissist? I've been with my wife for over 10 years, though we only recently got married last year. I must admit that I was broken when I met her without really knowing it. I was still dating my high school sweetheart, we dated 10 plus years, when I met my now wife. My HS sweetheart and I rarely fought. Our relationship was extremely peaceful but I could never seem to get her to open up about any serious life conversations like kids, marriage, buying a house. It was weird and it ultimately led to me feeling unwanted and I cheated on her. I was wrong. My first eight years together with my now wife were hell. It was a constant roller coaster of trauma that came and went every three months minimum. I mean the first six months did feel so perfect, but then tons of cheating on her part, probably 30 plus times with just as many men, slowly destroyed me, yet I couldn't let go. I always felt like it was my fault and I had to fix it. And believe me I tried. I always blamed myself, she even had a joke that my ability to see she was about to cheat was why she cheated. She said it's like I was scouting for her, and a self-fulfilling prophecy of sorts. She rarely if ever took full responsibility. I was always the one uncovering the infidelity, but she would control how much she'd confess so as to not overwhelm me at once. We hung out. I kissed him. We slept together once. It was actually a couple months affair. Those sort of revelations were timed with precision as a way to keep me around. That's what it felt like anyway. A few years ago, I finally did leave her and I spent a full year alone with no contact with her. I attended therapy once or twice a week every week that year. Oddly enough, one of the focuses of my therapy was figuring out whether I was a narcissist. You see, when my HS sweetheart and I finally parted ways, I found a playlist on her YouTube about narcissism. She never once mentioned it to me. Never talked to me about it or even accused me of it, but it hurt nonetheless. Pretty early on, my therapist confirmed I was absolutely not a narcissist, but when my now wife and I reconnected after that year apart, I did share intimate details about my therapy. We quickly moved in together, decided to have kids, and built a house together. Everything would have been great if we didn't have to deal with tons of trauma and toxicity from her family and their history. Nonetheless, I hung tight and tried to weather the storm and see us through it. We have two beautiful baby girls now after all and their safety, my wife and our girls, was a big concern for me. Well recently, I found out my wife reached out to her brother-in-law to line him up for a job promotion at work. The problem is that we'd made a decision years ago to cut her family from our lives because it was the healthiest thing for us. I took this as a betrayal of the trust we'd worked so hard to rebuild and it hurt me pretty deeply, especially because she'd purposely hid it from me. This is sort of a common theme from her, she would constantly help people that didn't support us because she craves validation. The betrayal has me questioning what else she could be hiding. I have constant nightmares about her cheating now. This of course led to an argument and her response was to research narcissism. When I asked her why, she said because she thought I was a narcissist. I guess she was sort of justifying her actions and seeking to discredit how I felt as a result. And that's how she flipped the script of her lying to me and betraying our trust. She wouldn't apologize at first but then she did while justifying and minimizing her actions. And so now this has sort of opened my eyes and has me questioning whether she is a narcissist. And if so, I feel stuck. I want to leave but the safety of my daughters has me feeling like I can't leave. I'd be scared to death to not be able to protect them 24-7 given her history and that of her family. I've considered trying to get full custody, but that seems impossible for a man. I'm heavily financially invested into our marriage too. It's devastating. In the last 10 years, I've fallen into deep depression regularly and constantly contemplated offing myself. I have a ton of regret for my decision to start a family with her and invest so heavily in our future. And yet, I still think the best outcome is to make our marriage work. I just don't know how or whether I can mentally and emotionally survive such an endeavor. AITA for expecting my wife to care for me while I am extremely ill? Recently, I unexpectedly became very sick after catching a virus from my toddler and 11-month-old daughters. I ended up with bronchitis and pneumonia. I had a fever of 105. I had severe coughing attacks and I was coughing up buckets of phlegm. I had severe chills and every night I'd be drenched in sweat from the coughing and fever. I didn't sleep for 5 to 7 days but for 30 minutes here and there. I had to visit the ER 3 times from severe chest pain and trouble breathing as my oxygen levels would regularly reach dangerous levels. I simply was not getting better. It just so happened that my wife had requested Friday and Monday off because our girls' daycare was closed. She did her best to care for the girls while I was isolated in the guest room. There were moments each day where she lost her temper with our toddler and I had to muster whatever strength I had left to console our daughter from the outburst from my wife. She'd regularly snatch our daughter by the arm and drag her out of our bedroom and lock the door because she wasn't being quiet enough, leaving our daughter crying hysterically outside the door trying to get back in. 
I didn't like it but I tried to be understanding. My wife was just frustrated and overwhelmed. A few days into my illness, I'd already been to the ER twice and I was not improving. I'd shared with my wife that I was getting worried if I got any worse I might die. I'd started to feel disoriented and dizzy along with all my other symptoms. That same night, she told me she'd be going to work the next day, Monday, and taking our two daughters with her. I asked her why this was necessary and she said she had a small project she needed to complete that was important to her. I told her that from my perspective, work could wait. I needed her. She was off anyway. And her boss is very understanding and they'd figure it out. I didn't understand why she also felt the need to burden herself with work. She went anyway and left me alone for about five hours that day. I was upset and disappointed by this and my wife could care less. The whole time I've been sick, she showed no empathy for me and was more annoyed than anything that I wasn't able to provide the utility I normally provide. I had to go back to the ER the day after she went to work and thankfully I've started to feel a bit better now. It's been two weeks. Nonetheless, it's led to a deep division in the relationship with my wife. This is not out of the ordinary for her. She regularly puts work and everyone else before me. It just feels like this could be the last straw for me if I can't even count on her when I'm sick. Of course, she thinks I'm being dramatic and she sees nothing wrong with what she did. She started the public campaign of making me the bottom hole for expecting her to stay home and care for me. AITA for expecting my wife to care and support me when I'm extremely sick? Is that really an unreasonable request?